When I was in college, I worked at the university library. One day during the fall semester, I had to be at work at three. My folklore class had finished at noon, and earlier in the week I'd checked out Whitman's Leaves of Grass. It was a small, pocket-sized, green leather edition, well-worn. I sat on the steps of the Mitchell Hall, which faced south above a path-crossed lawn shared with the library, and started reading Song of Myself. It was about 70 pages of flowing poetry and the Indian summer afternoon combined with a fully engaged, undistracted reading of the poems absolutely transported me. I finished the sequence of poems, looked out at the light of the grassy lawn, the people moving from place to place. I stood up as if in a dream and drifted back to my dorm room where I lay down and continued in my mind the same absorption in the words, music, images, and feelings of those poems. Eventually, it dawned on me that I was now an hour late for work, had completely forgotten that I had a job or had to be there. I've loved Whitman ever since. Here's an excerpt from Song of Myself. Trippers and askers surround me. People I meet, the effect upon me of my early life or the ward and city I live in or the nation, the latest dates, discoveries, inventions, societies, authors old and new, my dinner, dress, associates, looks, compliments, dues, the real or fancied indifference of some man or woman I love, the sickness of one of my folks or of myself or ill-doing or loss or lack of money or depressions or exaltations, Battles, the horrors of fratricidal war, the fever of doubtful news, the fitful events. These come to me days and nights and go from me again, but they are not the me myself. Apart from the pulling and hauling stands what I am, stands amused, complacent, compassionating, idle, unitary, looks down, is erect or bends an arm on an impalpable certain rest looking with side-curved head curious what will come next, both in and out of the game and watching and wondering at it. Backward I see in my own days where I sweated through fog with linguists and contenders. I have no mockings or arguments. I witness and wait.